morning dear students today i am here with the next chapter electric current and circuits we all know that we need different types of electric lamps or tube lights to lighten up our homes in our daily life also we listen music and we see our favorite programs on television during summer we keep our homes cool using fans and coolers so what make all these appliances work it is electricity so electricity has made our life more convenient and it is the widely used form of energy so what is electricity it is a form of energy resulting from the existence of charged particles so students we cannot imagine our life without electricity because most of our life part is revolving around this world called electricity so it is produced by renewable or non renewable sources hydro electricity is the most common way of producing electricity the very first topic of your chapter is electric cells one day what happened rohit and reena they were playing with their father suddenly the electricity supply it went off their father took out an electric torch from the nearby drawer and switched it on so there was some light in the room and they could find their way the children they were very excited and they wanted to know how this electric torch work and when the electric supply it was restored their father asked them to look at the parts of electric torch and they find that there are three main parts of this electric torch first is electric bulb cell or the combination of cell which is known as battery and the switch so when we slide or press the switch of an electric torch electricity it starts flowing through the electric cells to the electric bulb so here you can see a metallic strip which is being connected from the cell to the electric bulb so this yellow color metallic strip acts as a connecting wire which allow the flow of electric current and heats up the filament of the bulb and the bulb lights up one more thing is there that it is having a reflector this reflector it is made up of concave mirror and this act as a reflector that sends out the light as a parallel beam means this help the light rays to converge at a proper point the meet at a point and we are able to see the things in dark with the help of this torch students not only this torch other devices also use these cells these electric cells they are used in many other devices like your mobile phones your portable radios or mu music systems these electric cells are the devices which produce electricity from metal and chemicals which are stored inside them once the chemical get used up the cell may stop working and the most common cells that we use in our electric torches and so many other devices they are these dry cells these are known as dry cells so let's discuss about this uh, cell so at the top there is a metallic cap which is the positive terminal of this dry cell inside the cell ammonium chloride and manganese dioxide are the two chemicals which are filled inside this cell along with the carbon rod it is a good conductor of electricity and the outer metallic case which is known as the negative terminal of the cell and it is made up of zinc metal so each of the two terminals have positive and negative uh, sign marked on them the central metal cap 
act as a positive terminal and the metal case acts as the negative terminal and we can easily see these signs and these signs are used to help us to know how the electric cell have to be connected to the given electrical devices so in the torch the positive terminal of one electric cell is connected to the negative terminal of the next electric cell if the electric cells are not put in correct order the torch will not work so now there is one activity which is given in your book so let us make an electric cell using citrus fruits such as your lemon and you need two thin metallic plates 5 to 6 cm long one should be of copper and other should be of zinc we would also need a torch bulb or led along with these we have to need, uh, use connecting wires to connect all these things in a proper circuit so roll the fruit under the palm of your hand to soften it without breaking its skin insert the two different metallic strips a few centimeter apart into the lemon let them not touch the bottom of the skin of the fruit now use two pairs of cleaned up connecting wires connect them to one uh, metal plate each as you can see in the picture also and then to the led or your bulb and you will see that it will st uh, start glowing due to the reaction which is taking place inside the lemon fruit so that's how these citrus fruits after reacting they also produce charges and they allow the electric current to flow through it and the bulb glows now the kind of electric cells that are used in your torches or electric toys etc they are uh, used up their chemical is used up and they are replaced by the new ones because once their chemical is used up this may stop working so here there are different types of cells so this these are called button cells you have seen these type of cell in your uh, wrist watches also so once their chemical is used up they stop working and they are replaced by the new ones and your dry cell also which i have discussed earlier is used in electric torch once its chemical is used up we replace it with the new one and the second type of cell are your secondary cells these are rechargeable cells we can recharge them at a regular periodic uh, time so after recharging they can be used up for quite a longer time again and again your car scooter inverters they use such type of rechargeable batteries next is your electric bulb a torch bulb has an outer covering of the glass that is fixed on a metallic base so here you can see it is the metallic base of the bulb and this is the outer glass covering of the bulb there is a thin coiled metal wire inside the glass cover here is a thin metallic wire this is coiled metallic wire which is present inside the glass cover and it is this wire that gets heated up and gives up the light so this thin metallic wire it is known as the filament it is called the filament of the bulb and this filament is supported by two thick wires here you can see these are the two thick wires and one of these is connected to the metal tip and the other one is connected to the uh, metal cover at the base of the bulb so the these two terminals are connected in such a way that they should not touch each other let's see another diagram of the bulb so here you can see these uh, two metallic strips they are being connected 
to the metal cover as well as at the base and you can easily identify these two metallic uh, strips and with the help of these two metallic uh, strips your filament is in proper place so inside this bulb there are two inert gases filled like your organ or nitrogen these gases are filled in these electric bulbs the hell, uh, main purpose of filling these inert gases inside the bulb is to save the bulb filament from burning out in the presence of oxygen which is present in the normal air so this filled up inert gas saves the bulb from collapsing under the atmospheric pressure so this is the diagram of the bulb now we use nowadays various uh, different types of uh, bulbs at our homes so the most common bulb which we are using nowadays is led led uh, based lamp they are also being increasingly used up at uh, light sources because they are eco friendly and they have great advantage as they are lifelong and low power consuming so what does led means led means light emitting diode and they are preferred over other electric bulbs as they are low power consuming and nowadays they are being used at a large scale at our home or at other places cfls are also being used at our homes they are known as compact fluorescent lamps for lighting purpose they can give the same light as an electric bulb by consuming much less power they also have a life a longer life but however their uh, disposal is very challenging because it is not safe or uh, to burn out these uh, cfls or to dispose of so we can say that they are not so eco friendly and they are now being increasingly replaced by the led based lamps so that was all for today thank you and have a nice day